what's going on guys? Jay here from Easy Blade. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can find barbers for your new barbershop location. Now this question comes from one of our followers. He asked, how do you find barbers at all, period? Let's get into it. Now finding barbers guys is the million dollar question. Everybody wants to know how do you find barbers? Me personally, I struggled with this in the past when I first opened my first barbershop 10 years ago. And now we have our own flagship store, Easy Blade Barbers & Co. where we have three amazing barbers with great personalities, you see? The real thing is you shouldn't be worried about how do you find barbers. The real question is how do I find good people? Good people is the key to running a business. Now if you just open a barbershop, which means you just open up a business. Now remember, you have to think about it as as a business. You can't just think about it as, I need to get some people there to cut hair, to knock these people out the box that are coming in and they're gonna cut their hair and they're gonna go and I'm gonna get a commission or I'm gonna get a chair rent or whatever it is. You can't think like that. The real deal is you have to think, how do I find a good person to put in the chair? Meaning you have to take your time with whoever you're gonna put in that chair. Now, the truth is there are a lot of good people and there are a lot of bad people in this world. You gotta find the good ones, guys. And it's gonna be a process on finding the good ones. The first person that you put in there might not be the person that you really want it and you're gonna have to wait and get somebody else so it just works like that now when you're seeking out barbers you want to see what barber shop they came from usually in the barbering industry we just go ahead and we just grab any person like yeah yeah sit down let's go and you put them in a the chair you have to interview them guys you have to figure out what barber shop did they come from to make sure that they didn't come with any bad habits you have to interview them and make sure that they're good people you know ask them key questions like you know when you were in your other barber shop did you clean did you guys how was it you know how did you treat the customers you gotta sit there and come up with a, a questionnaire of the things that you want for your barbershop location. Now the real question is, that a lot of people are probably gonna ask is, how do I even find them? Where do I even start? Now you don't go out and start sending a bunch of DMs to random barbers that work in other barbershops because let's be real, it's kind of disrespectful. You want the people to honestly start to notice you. And how do you get the people to notice you? How do you get the barbers to notice you? You have to build a brand, guys. This goes back to the other videos on the channel where we talk about branding your barbershop, guys. You have to brand your barbershop shop you have to become a good barber shop now a good friend of mine called the barber guru online him and his brother own about seven to eight barber shops now when we went out to go interview these guys one of the things i asked them was how did you guys find all of these barbers for your barber shops now these guys they built a brand they got health care for their barbers they got insurance for their barbers they have uh, all types of stuff for their barbers so naturally most barbers want to end up working for these guys because they built a solid foundation they built built something that's almost corporate, right? But it's not corporate, right? Because to be a barber, you want to be away from corporate, but a lot of people still want those corporate benefits. And that's what these guys did. These guys are really, really good at what they did. I got to respect that. So you're probably saying to yourself, all right, Jay, cool. All right, I branded myself. I'm buying myself here at my barber shop. I got empty chairs. I need to put some guys in these chairs. How do I even figure this out? I got people coming in. I can't cut them because I'm busy. The real deal is, guys, you have to go connect with a barber school or a beauty school. You'd be surprised. A lot of females want to cut hair as well. So you want to connect with these schools, go do a class, offer your services, introduce yourself, tell them that you're looking for an apprentice, somebody to work under you. And then from there, you can figure out who is the best at cutting hair by doing these free classes. And then you can go ahead and train these guys the way you want them to be trained. Now in the beginning, the haircuts are not going to be where you want them to be because obviously they're new at cutting hair, but you have to be patient. If you want to build a solid barber, you're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to build these guys. So what you do is grab a barber from the school, start to teach them how to cut hair, make sure they bring all their friends, their family, teach them how to cut hair. And then when you feel like they're ready, you can go ahead and start putting them on your clients and teach them structure, teach them how you want your business ran. And from there, you'll be more successful than you can imagine. So the truth is guys, there's no such thing as a magic trick to find barbers because guess what? Barbers are an asset. They are not a liability. A barber is an asset. The reason why I say that is because a barber can go anywhere. You can train them today and they could just leave you tomorrow. And that's just the industry that we work for. But if you build a solid foundation, people are gonna wanna work with you guys. People are gonna be attracted to your barber shop. So again, there's no secret, there's no magic trick. It's just hard work going out there and training. Talk to you guys soon.